I created a fully working payment system where you can use real money built in five minutes using Node.js and hosted on Firebase. Let's go. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and create our project. And then we immediately need to upgrade to the Blaze plan because we're gonna be using the Firebase functions. Set a budget alert and you're finished. Open up your terminal. In there, I'm gonna create a directory called Stripe node and navigate inside of it. And then immediately do a Firebase in it. I wanna select functions and hosting. Use an existing project. Stripe node, the one that I've just created. JavaScript, no on the linting. No, we don't want to install dependencies now. Leave it as public. No, we don't want a single page app. No for the automated builds. And you're done. Give that a clear. And then navigate inside of your functions folder. Do npm install express space stripe. Now we've got it all open. Go ahead and delete your index HTML. We're gonna go and recreate that, the brand new one. Pop in stripe node. And then we're gonna add in bootstrap CSS to give us a little bit more styling on the site. And then in the body, I'm gonna add in a div container with another div with class row. And then inside of that, I'm gonna have another div with class call 12. And then I want a form with an action and then method post. And then we want to have a button, type submit with an ID checkout button and a class button with button primary. Inside of the action, we wanna do a forward slash create checkout session. And then in the container, just add in a text center. Don't forget to add in some text in the button. And that's us done for our front page styling. Next thing we need to do is go into our index.js, just delete everything here. Then we need to add in Stripe and Express. Then we want to export our app into the Firebase functions. And we want to do app.post to the path create checkout session, which is what we added in our index HTML. Put a comma, async brackets into squiggly brackets. Press enter. And inside of your standard brackets, we've got the request and the response. So req, comma, R-E-S. Then inside of this, we want to have a constant session equals await stripe dot checkout dot sessions dot create. Inside of create, squiggly brackets, because this is going to be our parameters. Add another line. And here we're going to put in everything we need to do to customize our stripe. So we want line items. This is an array. Mode is payment. And we've got our success URL cancel URL. The success URL is going to be https colon forward slash forward slash stripe node 234ef.web.app forward slash. We can put the same thing in for our cancel URL. This ID here is unique to every project, so it will be different for you. You can get the ID from inside your project in this file or from the URL for your Firebase project. Then for the line items, add another line you want price and quantity one. Now the last two bits are very simple. We just need to get hold of the API keys. So we need to go over to Stripe website. You need to sign up, pop in all your details, click create account. Now an important thing when you sign up to Stripe is you do need to put in a business name. So pop in something, make sure you verify your email address and then go to developers, go to your API keys, reveal your secret key. Copy that, then on line two where you got your Stripe paste in your secret key, and then go to products, add in a product, I'm gonna call this demo 20, give it a price of 20, one-time payment, and save this product. Copy the price ID, and then where we had those line items, pop in the price ID. Lastly, we just need to add in a redirect to the session URL. In your Firebase JSON, just add in some rewrites, just so it can actually read all the code you've just written. Then go ahead and deploy this to Firebase, once that's deployed, you get your hosting URL, copy that, go to your browser, pop it in, and you'll get your nice checkout button. Give it a click, and then we have it. That should take us to your Stripe checkout page, where you can just put in whatever email address you want, and then your card information is just 42 repeated, and then whatever expiry date is valid. So 1234, 123, name on the card, and go ahead and click pay. That should take you back to your main page, which is what we added for our success URL. The way to know it's worked, go to Stripe, go to your payments, and there you go, a successful 20 pounds with the customer that we just put in. If you want this to work with live payments, click the activate at the top here. Fill out this big form to activate your account. You can then switch it over to your live mode, go to developers and grab your live API keys. Forgive me if I'm gonna blur this. Head over to your code, put in your live key, and then go to products and repeat the process. I've already done so, I've got a live 20 here. 
copy the price ID, pop it in place, redeploy it, give it a refresh, and this time when you click checkout, it won't come up with test mode. There we are, live 20, and this will require you to put in some real credit card details. So again, forgive me if I blur this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pop my details in, click the pay button, and voila. You should now see money has disappeared from your account. If you go over to your payments page, you can see the real life 20 pounds has now been deposited into my account. And there we have it, a fully working Stripe payment page built with Node.js, hosted on Firebase. If you liked this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you've got any ideas, things you want me to do in the future, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely look into them. With that, I'll see you next time.